All right. So welcome to week four, our final week. We're so excited to be wrapping this up. And thank you again for joining us on this journey. All those um, Paul Rogers and other CJUSD uh, members. So Dave and Jen and I want to talk about what week four is going to be and wrapping this whole thing up. Um, looking back on week three, thank you for um, going through Google Docs and Drive with us. I know that some of you are already familiar with it, so maybe it was a little bit of a refresher, but that's always good. And we would love to hear some of you contribute on the shared Google page. I think it was called Ease into Technology Resources because it would be great for that collaboration to come in where we can hear how have you used Google Drive, how have you used Google Docs in your classroom, um, and especially some people are pointing out with different grade levels. So if you have experience with different grade levels, share out your ideas so that they can see how it could be used at their school site also. So don't forget to contribute on that because this week we're going to talk about how you can do that too. So thank you for your, your input. Thank you for sharing some of your yeah. folders and your docs that you shared. Um, and it sounds like really good ideas with sharing with grade levels and with different colleagues at your school site. So thanks for week three. And don't forget to fill out the Google survey that goes with week three on Docs and Drive because, again, that helps us gather our data on how valuable that week of even trying out that activity was. Okay, so don't forget to take that. That's still available for you to take. And now leading into week's four assignment, Dave's going to talk a little bit about Google Classroom. Yeah, if you take a look at the uh, screen right now, you see a couple of uh, videos that uh, were loaded. I loaded um, the first one that says Classroom 101. That's kind of a short little introduction that kind of gives you a, a quick understanding. I think it's only, uh, yeah, two minutes and 18 seconds. Kind of gives you, shows you the potential of uh, what Google Classroom could do. The other one over to the right is a longer one. Um, I think it's uh, 11 minutes 11. and seconds, yeah. Um, and it's actually a gal who is, I believe she's um, helping her district um, kind of explore what Google has as to, to offer. And I just like the way she did it. I checked out a number of different ones, and I felt like this was perhaps the clearest one. So I just want to encourage you to uh, maybe take a look at that, particularly if, uh, if the other one isn't quite enough. Um, I'm somewhat of a rookie using Google Classroom, but I have been using it in my class this year, probably since uh, about uh, two, two and a half months or so. I've done a number of, of assignments, uh, writing well. assignments in particular, <laughs> and um, have, have really uh, enjoyed it. I've seen different ways that... Uh, it could definitely uh, speed up, which is a big thing that I like, and I'm sure you would as well. Uh, grading, I'm able to uh, to go in and make comments. I I know I actually made like a, another folder with comments, so I could just go in and paste certain comments uh, quickly in there. And um, and I've just seen it's it's so easy once it's set up as. You'll see in a moment, you just click a little plus sign and you can quickly add, add assignments. And there's other things that you can add as well. So anyways, uh, there are a couple of uh, resources for you and just encourage you to uh, take a look. So. I mean, actually how easy it is to create. Jen just created hers right before this video. So she's like ready to show you how it's done. Yep. Super easy. Super easy. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Um, Dave, the video that you guys or you that you put and posted on week four was really good. I actually watched the eleven uh, minute and forty second video, and I got to almost the very last few seconds of it, and it was very helpful. So, as we went through and started my um, Google Classroom, I was actually a little bit familiar from just watching that video. So the long one is very helpful. Um, so I'm going to show you what the classroom looks like that I created. And like Carrie said, it was just like probably, what, five minutes, not even that. Um, but basically, we're going to go to our um, your app launcher. Our app launcher. 
and that's in Google. And one of the things that we saw was make sure you are in your CJUSD um, Google Google name. Sign in. Yes, sign in. It'll work otherwise. Yeah, and, and then you go from your drive to the drive. Oh, to the drive. Sorry. And to the waffle. And you look for. I think it went to something else, huh? Yeah. But this is the, what's it called? Yeah. Let me go back. Go to drive. Come on. Too many things going on here. <laughs> As you're doing that though, um, I was going to say, oh, making sure when you get to your classroom, so she's in her drive, she's going to go to her app launcher and she's going to look for um, that more button next to Haiku for CJUSD. Next to Haiku is that yeah. Google Classroom. Everybody should have it on there. If you don't for some yes. reason, like she said, make sure that you're signed in to your CJUSD account or it's not going to show up because it's, it's not a personal um, thing that we have free with our own accounts. Oh. Yeah, so it once you've already created an account or a, a Google, Google Classroom, you'll have the option, just like when we go into the community, you have the option of the different communities that you're part of or participating in. And then we can, wait, sorry, our pictures are right there. And before she even got to this, when she first started it, um, it just had the regular interface on there and she had to scroll down to the bottom. It said, are you a teacher or student? Yes. So that was something that took us a little while. Like, where's that button? But it was yes. there. So make sure you, you pick a teacher. I don't think you can change that easily. So, yeah. So you want to make sure and pick a teacher. Um, of course here, we're going to just look back at my thing, but it does show when we're in here. Um, a couple of different options. So once we do this, one of the assignments uh, for this week is to create the classroom, the Google Classroom, and to get it signed, get yourself signed up in it, and then to explore some of the features. So some of the simple features that we went through was basically selecting a theme, which is right here. So you have two options, upload your photo. Maybe you want to upload a picture of your class, like I know Carrie has hers, her class photo there, or you can just select a theme. Um, which is really easy and they give some really cute ones. What I have in my background is from the patterns, but you can go through here and you can look at all the different things that they have. It'd be fun to even have like um, an art contest and you could put, you could change oh, your thing yeah. each time. You know what I mean? That's fun. That would be a great the, kids, the kids see it. So it could be like this week's student oh, yeah. if you wanted, you know, if you were using this instead of haiku or something. So. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, we talked about stream streaming, and streaming is when you can actually set up an assignment. Let me pull it down. And you can take a tour if you're not comfortable doing it on your own, or you can just uh, start to stream some type of assignment there by adding the plus button or clicking on the plus button. Yeah. And you can do create a question, create an assignment, or create an announcement. So we'll, we'll talk about those in the class on Thursday. Um, and then if you go down, the easiest way to um, get students in your class is using the class code. And you're going to have them log on with this by making sure when they go to Google Classroom that they find the student choice and they click on that and then they will input this class code. Mm -hmm. And then it automatically assigns them to the classroom, the Google yeah. Classroom. So. Perfect. And then um, one of the things that Carrie mentioned was you can go to this option students right here through your teacher classroom and you can look and see which students you have. You can um, accept them or deny them depending on um, yeah. who's to get in. And it will automatically enroll them. So then you can just be like, oh, you know, we're waiting for two more people. If you know that, you know, there's 24 kids there that day and only 22 yeah. have entered in the classroom. You know you still have two more that are waiting, and they're great to help each other um, get set up in that. 
So yeah, what, we're, yeah. what we're asking you to do isn't to uh, necessarily get right. all your kids in there, but just to go in and, and create, create a classroom a and then just go in and check out one of the uh, assignments or um, features you know, of it. The different yeah. features there. So I don't think you have to get all your kids signed up, but at least right. then you would be ready to go yeah. at that point. You could do just the behind the scenes if you wanted to before you even have to launch it. So that's yeah. the two things. So create a Google Classroom and explore its features. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to ask two more things of you this week. But they're small. Yeah. <laughs> so we definitely want to remind you, and I know Carrie did already, to post um, how Google Classroom can be beneficial in, in one of the docs that we have there. Yeah. Um, and, and I'll put know, the link in there again. Yes. And you know what would be really great is if you want to share your class code yeah. on that Google oh, Doc also, and then we can um, join you at your class. If yeah, you accept us so we can just kind we'll of try that. Check out what you guys have um, created. So we're really excited to see that. And then the last thing would be the survey um, for the response for week four, right? That's right. So or Google Classroom. Not too many things. We're in the home stretch here, guys. Thanks again for yes all your input and help. So. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Have a fun Google Classroom week. <laughs> Bye. Bye.